Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, October 28th. It is the Feast of St. Simon and Jude. It's day 49 of Be Formed. And yes, people have been asking how I'm feeling. I came back from the pilgrimage a little under the weather. That's why I haven't made a videos, new videos the last couple of days. But I always know that I've, I've got a few years of videos out there. And on my blog, frburk23.wordpress.com, I will always post an old video for these same readings if I'm not able to do a new video. So you might wanna subscribe to my YouTube channel, but also to my blog, just in case a new video doesn't pop up on my YouTube channel. So <clears throat> I love talking about the 12 apostles because it's because of their, you know, it's probably coming back following the footsteps of St. Paul and seeing his bravery, his courage, the 12 apostles did so much to spread the gospel around the world, possibly the reason why you and I are followers of Christ today. What do we know about St. Jude? He's probably most known for being the patron saint of lost causes. So when people are in a situation where you feel like I need a miracle, uh, St. Jude is the one that we ask for uh, his intercession. In the Gospel of Luke and the Book of Acts, which is one continuous story written by Luke, he's known as Judas. In English, that is Jude. And in English, we usually keep Judas Iscariot to differentiate this Saint Jude from Judas Iscariot. So this Saint Jude is not the one who betrayed Jesus. In the Gospel of Matthew and Mark, uh, Jude is named as Thaddeus. So whether it's Jude or Thaddeus, it's the same person. He went on to preach in Egypt and was martyred in Persia the same day as St. Simon, which is why, you know, in the church, their big feast days are usually around somebody's death because that's their birthday into heaven. And so St. Simon and Jude, we believe, died on the same day in Persia. Uh, even though they had gone out to different parts of the world to preach, they came back, met in Persia, and there met their death. St. Simon, in, uh, in uh, two of these books, he's known as Simon the Canaanian. In two of the books, he's known as Simon the Zealot. I didn't know this, but as I was doing my research, uh, Canaanian in Aramaic means zealous. So it's not so much where he's from, Cana, um, or, or the land of Canaan, but it's the fact that he was zealous. And this is brought out well in, in uh, The Chosen, where Simon the Zealot, why is he called the Zealot? He's zealous for his faith. They were a very uh, pro-Jewish nation and very anti-establishment, especially the Roman Empire. So that's why Matthew, who was collecting taxes for the Romans, and Simon, who was very much against the Romans, the fact that Jesus chose both of these men to be his apostles is fascinating. The fact that Jesus can bring two people together and do amazing things. So we may look across the pew at church and think, how is that person here? Or how is that person here? They might be thinking the same about you. God calls all of us to be his faithful disciples. And what he tries to do, because Simon had this, you know, he was zealous. And if Jesus could harness that energy in the right direction, amazing things can happen. Um, that's what I love about being here at St. Isaac Jogues in Hinsdale. There, there's so many, many, many talented people. And if we can get all of our energies moving in the same direction, there's no limit to what can happen. That's the purpose of Curcio is to, for the, the lay people to go out and spread the gospel and to bring people who have many gifts and talents to harness them into spreading the gospel. So as my voice uh, starts to uh, weaken a little bit, again, uh, what, according to, to tradition, Simon was sawed in half. That was his martyrdom. And St. Jude was beaten with a club. And often these apostles in artwork will carry the method of, of their death. So you can see Simon with a saw and Jude with a club.
And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the apostles. We thank you for Simon and Jude and for the way that they witnessed to you. Help, help us to follow their example. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your families, Buen Camino, and God bless you.